numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh, Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There, yeah, that should do it. I am mended. My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Who's that, I wonder? Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching, it's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunchtime! What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes! Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy, just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro! Bye, everyone! Get well soon, Pedro! Yes, Madam Gazelle! <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Pepper. Your knee is better. Oh, yes! <laughs> hello, everyone! Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg stronger now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun. <laughs> what do we do now, Grandpa Pig? <laughs> you eat them, of course. Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> they in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <sighs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. 
But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes, and they have eggs too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. Oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my big, big, big. I'm a fluffy yellow hen. I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. It's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Break down the covery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? I'm... Flying. Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. His first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's first word was dinosaur. Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Giggle. He can't talk, Peppa. But he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Giggle. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for dust and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Oh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> there are not many places to hide on Pirate Island. Ready or not, here I come! Found you! Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad's dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up! Where is he? George was hiding behind Grandad dog. Clever George! <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. <sighs> My new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. Hmm. I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Where did the light go? Do you know what time it is? I just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Foghorn! I can hear something. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island. I went to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh. I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologize for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still. But please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. You will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. It when it goes to sleep, please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. Pepper and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Pepper. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, 
and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. I'm the carrot of the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Very joyful greetings, festive passages. Carol singers, always for you, James, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. Present Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 <laughs> so, the last present must be for... I just come to front all that walks and talks and closes his eyes when he goes to sleep. Oh, birdseed. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes for everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No. The label says for Susie Sheep. And Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, Hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm. Yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, Susie. What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no. Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh, 
I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. It can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> P Rabbit is measuring the whole of Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. <laughs> but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. Grampy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. Now this is what I've been looking for. It's the washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boat with a bit of washing machine? Yes! It's as good as you! Now we test it. Prepare for launch! Amazing! It floats! You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Do you want to hear it? No, thank you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> In time, Madame Gazelle, she can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madame Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. The parents have come to pick up the children. You're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your, your instruments, instruments children. children. Yes, Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. My daddy can shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> Hello? Grandpa, Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, 
Daddy Pig. Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone! <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us! Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It says you were record! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I mean, and you say this, Mickey Mackey Booba. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse! <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready! OK, now. Are you marked? Get set! Three! Hello! I'm home! Oh! I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. I am an expert at talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm a chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa loves talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie loves talking. Everybody loves talking. Chatter. <laughs> Hey. Let's Le race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Oh. 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 And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken! <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. Oh, I've got no petrol. 
Mr. Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Ah, oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along too? <laughs> Why not? Daddy Pig is towing Mr. Fox's van to the petrol station. George is looking for somewhere to hide. George, I can see your wiggly tail. Peppa is hiding with George. Move over, George. Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Peppa and George. Move up. There you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Watch up. We're like sardines in a tin. Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can we come along too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games even when you're almost blown up. Tend River safely. My little explorers! What's next, Rumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Uh -oh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle! They're real little explorers now! We walked across a river and we swung over crocodiles and we crawled under a dinosaur! I love doing gym class with Grampy Rabbits! <laughs> She'll be there for a hundred years, like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. 
I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Oh, my prince. My princess. To stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. Mummy, there's a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then yeah, Mummy and fell in the bush. She looked quite silly. And she was going, Ah! Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely, bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know, Georgia's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes, let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> aeroplane. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Peppa. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you threw a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it's blue and blue forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? 
What a great idea to make it into a paper airplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes, well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> Edmund has got a medal. Richard has got a medal. George has got a medal. Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. Edmund has won. <laughs> Mummy, past the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund! <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes, it's not easy looking after little children. I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> What's that stick thing in the water? Ah! Submarine! Action stations! Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing! With just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell! Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes! Uh, cheese, please! Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comics. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Yes, it is. Has everything got a smell? Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? You smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> what do I smell of? 
You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. What do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh, what's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. I can smell carrot soup too. And me! Dinner's ready! Come and get your carrot soup! <laughs> Everyone is enjoying Mummy Rabbit's carrot soup. This soup is yummy! Who can that be? Mr Fox is coming to take Freddy home. Mmm! Oh, I can smell dinner! Oh, Mr Fox! Hello! Hello, Mummy Rabbit! Hello, Dad! I've just had my dinner down a rabbit hole. Good lad! And can you guess what's for pudding? Smells nice. I'd say strawberry jelly. That's right. Mr. Fox loves smelling things. Everyone loves smelling things. What's wrong, Pepper? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. Can I lick Susie's sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. Oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody. Cookies. They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle. Ever. Have you been practising? Yes, lots. But it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. Oh, what's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle! Is a dinosaur! Ooh, she's not a dinosaur! This is Lulu, the lizard! Hello, Lulu! She's scaly, like a dragon! Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue! Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah! Oh, fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? 
Up a tree. I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back, Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Well, Pinky and Lulu. No, I don't know. Oh, here they are, safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh, that sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. Is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me. Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. First, we fill the buckets with snow. We turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey, presto, a snow castle. Snow castle! The seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. 